I don't even know where to start, man. I mean, I'm gonna, you know what? Let's just make it easy. Let's start from the first half and how bad we was. I want to start with that. Shocking, 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 shocking. It was everything you were worried about happening to Manchester United in that first half. I thought we were clueless. I thought we lost our first and second battles all across the pitch. If it wasn't De Gea, if it was De Gea we could have been 3-0 down. Um, and, and the whole tempo from the game, from the off, was, was, was off, was wrong. It was just wrong. I, I'm going to admit, I did look at it and think maybe with McTominay out, I could see Solskjaer's thinking. But the way the game panned out, it clearly wasn't the right way um, to play. And I know it's easier, easier said than done when you, when you look at it in hindsight. Hindsight's a wonderful thing, but we were dominated. We were dominated all across the pitch. You know what you're going to get with a Chris Wilder side. You know what you're going to get with Shef Sheffield United. You're going to get determination. You're going to get guts. You're going to get strength. You're going to get power. And they just played us off the park. Men against boys. I thought, in particular in midfield, I thought Pereira was awful. Player ratings haven't even been done yet, but I'm not having it. He's got to get a zero. He got to get a zero. He was shocking. I tried to see. Like I said, look, if Tuan Zabi's on the bench, then surely he, he can come back and play. People say, nah, he's got to come back from injury. And Jones just does what Jones does. Man, I'm not even going to talk about him too much and get on to him because what do we expect? What do we expect? One shoulder bass, I think, from Musit, and he's fucking on his ass. That's how annoyed I'm swearing. Um, and then you're looking at it, and I, I said before the game, if we go 1-0 down, I couldn't see it. I could not see us coming back into the game. Half-time, Oli takes off Jones. Um, and we, and we go forward the back, brings on Lingard, and Lingard's playing sort of at the top of the midfield too, which is kind of, that's our, that's our formation. Um, we, we obviously with Rashford, James and Martial. And it didn't work. It didn't work. Sheffield United scored, scored another. Again, Pereira on the ball, the biggest mistake of the game that he actually made. But it was something that he'd done two, three, four times already in the game. He was just having an absolute shocker, gave the ball away um, and, and a good finish for Musa. At 2-0 down, I will not lie to you, I'm standing there next to Adam. I'm saying we're fucking done. We're finished. Like, and the pressure's mounting. Ollie, people around me are saying, look, the Pochettino thing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I still haven't seen the goals back. They happened so quickly. And where I was sitting, I was right behind the goal, and the, the crossbars are in my way. So I still haven't seen exactly how the goals happened. So I'm not going to come and pretend like I have. But it was like we played good for a 15-minute spell because that, that that sort of 70 minutes, 75 minutes before we scored our first goal was up there with the worst we've been all season and there's been some dreadful performances all season awful 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 um and to think about it it was a spell that was it tactical from Wally why that happened I'm struggling to give him full credit because of how bad we were and how tactically inept we were I'm struggling to say actually it was, it, it was managerial excellence basically a managerial decision that actually got us going it looked like a bunch of individuals but it did show what happens when when we have our more forward players in the right areas you know I thought Daniel James in the first half he was he was very disappointed I uh, was very very disappointing um, I don't think he got into I think I thought he was wasteful I thought he got into decent positions but was wasteful second half he did well second half I think I think he I think he um, how you doing man um, I think he squared the ball across I, I, I don't, again I don't know who scored I need to see it back awful seats where I was but he had an impact. I think Martial held onto the ball once as well, set James in as well. Again, impact. Um, and Greenwood to come on, get a goal. Williams as well. He had a tough game, Williams. He wasn't playing well up until he scored. He really wasn't. Um, he was he's in the book as well, and rightly so. He wasn't having a, a good game, but he showed character. You know, and to go and get a goal, and that, that, that's, that kick-started our revival. And we get to 3-2, and it's absolute scenes. You know, I'm not going to act like I wasn't happy. Of course I'm happy. We're 2-0 down at Sheffield United, who don't concede many goals when we come back. To 3-2, eight minutes left on the clock. Can we see it out? And then it's back to the same old fucking Manchester United again. Embarrassing. Yes, the VAR, I found myself hanging on to VAR, which I don't even want it to be part of the game anymore, just to try and get the win. It's shocking how we allowed that. And you look at, you know, Ricky touched on it, the change he's made to bring two and Zay beyond to try and shut up shop. It did kind of hand the impotence to, 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 to Sheffield United. And the pressure was building ever so slightly. You did you did just feel like they were going to get one more chance. You did. And we had chances as, as well, just before, uh, like we said, we changed it with two and Zabie. So all in all, it's a shocking performance, really. I, I know people are going to look at the, the little 10 minute, 15 minute period that we played and say, that's a positive. And it's always a positive if you come back and show a bit of character. But you've got to look at the, this, this thing in, in the entirety. I'm not just going to look at isolated moments. And in the entirety of 94 minutes, 95 minutes, we played good for 15. Yes, in 15, 
it was like a Mario Kart when you hit frenzy mode. Go, 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 go. But it's 15 minutes in, in 95 minutes, you know, against, against the Sheffield United. That is, that is stubborn, yeah, and they, they didn't stop going. So, I don't, I, me personally, I don't think this has done anything to ease the pressure on Oli. Um, you know, with Pochettino going to, going to, not going to, Pochettino getting sacked and obviously Mourinho going into Spurs, the pressure's going to go up on Oli tenfold anyway. You know, even, even for the United supporters who are backing Oli, because Pochettino's there. Just, just the fact that he's a free agent. And this, this result, for me, I don't, I, I don't see it as, um, as, as that um, brilliant, to be honest. I don't, I don't. I look at, because I'm just thinking of the first half and how bad we was and how bad we were for large parts. The same errors and the same patterns of play are still there. We just hit a purple patch in the middle of the game. And then once you have hit that purple patch, patch you want to do a bit of a smash and grab. Just see it out. Mentality. We couldn't show it. We failed at that again. So I know there's going to be some of you at home. I don't know, maybe not so much, but I know there's always going to be a section of fans who think, why are you moaning? Would you have taken that at 2-0 down? Would you have taken a draw? OK, cool. You probably would have. But in the context of the game, you've got to look at it in its entirety. And it was poor, man. It was poor. I'm happy that obviously we got a point out of it because it's better than losing, but it wasn't good, man. It wasn't good. McTominay, it just shows what a massive miss this guy is. I mean, when he first broke into the United squad, we were thinking, what does he really do? It took a while for him to, to really you know, show us his muscle. But he's proved what we are without him. And, and that is um, a midfield that has fuck all in it. It has no substance, it has no minerals. Um, Fred, I thought, I don't think Fred was awful today. I know some people getting on his back. I don't think he was horrendous. I just thought he was just carrying Pereira. You know, what, what, what are those two little guys supposed to do? in there against three central midfielders in, uh, in Sheffield United that are solid and strong and going to win everything. And, and, you know, we just didn't get into the game for the last part. So, very, very disappointing in the end. Um, we go to Astana, you know, that, obviously it's, it's already done. But Villa, Villa, we have to win that because those two games against Spurs and City in quick, in quick um, succession, I'll tell you what, I fear for Oli if we get beat in both of them games, even Villa, even Villa. So for me, awful day at the office, considering um, the position we, we were in, knowing that a win would put us fifth. It could have put us in a, in a decent position to start to start this turnaround. And I don't see it. Yes, it's good that um, Rashford was on the score sheet again. Happy for Williams in the end, happy for Greenwood. But in the context of it, it's not good enough, man. I'm out of here. Over to Astana in minus 20. Wish me luck. Peace. Thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.